This porch is a mess. I don't know what happened to it. I think either I painted it on a wet day last year or used the wrong kind of paint, but something caused all the paint to peel up over the winter time. So um, I really have to repair it. And I'm gonna uh, scrape it, sand it, um, repaint it. And I think that this year I'm gonna try a stencil design. Once you've swept up the area of all the winter debris, then spread down a drop cloth. It's very important to use a drop cloth when you're scraping, painting, whatever, to catch all the paint. Um, you don't want the porous brick to get all stained. These drop cloths you can get at the paint store or at the hardware store. They're excellent, reusable, and not too heavy. Now we're ready to scrape. It's like opening a can of worms. Everywhere I scrape, paint comes off. I did something really bad. So uh, I just have to scrape as much of this loose paint off as possible. It's gonna take some time. So I better get to work. And then once you get that paint scraped off, and it's, um, use these good scrapers, by the way. These are excellent, excellent paint scrapers. They come in at least two widths. Uh, two inch and one inch, and they are powerful, very, very sharp, and they have replaceable blades in case you nick or dull them. This is a great little finishing sander. It's electric, and you use, um, to start, about an 80 grade sandpaper after you do your scraping. This smooths out the surface sufficiently for the first coat of paint. Have to do the whole surface though. Make sure you don't miss any parts. The edges, the tops, the sides. Once you finish the sanding, it's time to get rid of all the dust before you paint. Use a very lightly damp cloth to pick up the first batch of dust. And you'll see how much green dust you'll pick up. Look at that. Unbelievable. Let that dry and then use a tack cloth. This is bought in a paint store and what it is is sort of like an oil, um, an oily cheese cloth. It's very tacky, that's the name. Keep those rubber gloves on your hands and then just wipe up and this too picks up the last bit of paint dust. Now you're ready for painting. I'm using a natural bristle brush for this job. And uh, this is a three inch brush. If you like, just take the top of the can and with the brush and clean it off so that you don't have any drips of paint. And then place your top in a dust free area. Although we bought this paint like yesterday for the, for the stairs, give it a good stir just to make sure that it's all evenly mixed. This paint, because of its hard nature, goes right on the wood or the um, sanded paint. It does not require a primer. Now, the way that I paint is I hold the paintbrush like this. This is very basic information, but it's kind of helpful to know. Hold it like that and only dip your brush in halfway up the bristles. That way, you're not gonna have paint dripping down the handle and down your arm. And always wear protective gloves when you're painting. These are those great surgeon's gloves. Start up on the top level if you're doing a stair. Start and do the deck first and then come down and finish on the bottom stair. Work from the top up. I'm gonna move my paint right up to my work area. And I'm using a little rubber pad to protect my knees when I have to kneel. This is a good thing to have. The first strokes of the brush are done in a crisscross fashion to cover the entire surface area. Then you do your long, even strokes in one direction to smooth out the paint and so that you don't get any strange lines in your paint. I learned all these techniques from Chester Kulpa, who was my father's cousin and a great, fine painter from Poland. He painted cathedrals, and he even worked on St. Patrick's in New York City, and did wonderful, wonderful painting, always with a brush. He didn't know about rollers. Always with his fine bristle brushes, he would paint decoratively and plainly like this. It's looking good. 
Today we're finished with the first coat, it has to dry overnight, then we apply a second coat if necessary. I think it might need a second coat. And then the next day, after another 24 hour drying period, we can apply the diamond design. It's fun and it's going to be a very nice looking porch.